Hey, I'm going to show you a little trick for writing lengthy if statements that will make it a bit easier for you when you're creating Notion formulas. So I've got a little solve here in our solves database about nested if statements. I've seen this example on a lot of different people's websites uh, that if we have a score, we want to show a certain grade based on that score. So you can see our final formula here. We've got if the score is greater than 0.9, which is what the score shows up as when you use a percentage in uh, Notion, then we put in A. Otherwise, we, you know, so we nest it down and we keep adding the different scores based on whether the score is greater than a certain amount. And I'm just basing this on a very basic grading scale here. So you're looking at this and because Notion's formulas have to be all on one line, these can get a little unwieldy reading wise. And sometimes as you're typing, you might forget a ending uh, parentheses here, which breaks your formula. And sometimes it's hard to know where you are in these nests, especially when you get a really long formula. Uh, so I have a little trick for you to write these formulas that will make it a lot easier to do. So you always want to start with kind of your top level. And so I'm going to make, make another one here for this uh, grade two, we'll call it, and we'll add a formula. And the very first thing we want to test is if the, gr the score is, is in our A range. So I'm going to write if the score is greater than or equal to 0 0.9, then we want the A. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to put F uh, as the score. So um, we'll just click done and we can see our 95% gives us an A and all of the grades now have an F. So let's keep going. And this is the little trick where I'm going to hit Command A or Control A on Windows and copy this entire if statement. And the trick is to just highlight the string, the F string, and paste in that statement. So now that gives us another nested if statement. And I'll change the first A here to B, and I'll change this to 0.8. And now we've got our A and B and F, okay? We're gonna go back in, and we're gonna do that exact same thing with the, with the F this time. I'm gonna highlight the string F and paste. And then our next grade down is the 0.7 for a C. Otherwise we go F, and then we do this again for D, and we're now at 0.6 and D. Uh, and now we have an entire graded system, and it matches our original formula here. So you can see that by just copying and pasting over the uh, last, uh, the, the default essentially, you can make uh, additional uh, nested if statements really easily and you don't have to write it in real time and confuse yourself with how many parentheses do I have you can see here I have got one two three four parentheses for the five cases that I'm taking care of in these nested if statements so that's a way to quite simply uh, make writing if statements a little bit easier when you're using these nested if statements now we just have to hope for notion to give us either a switch case statement or uh, allow us to write formulas on new lines. That would be very helpful for readability.